Hey everyone, Brittany here from Brit's Template Shop. Um, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to embed a video into your Thrivecart checkout page or sales page or whatever page you're creating right now. I'm going to show you how to embed a video. I'm also going to go over how to embed a GIF. It's the same concept, but we will go over both of those things. Um, so we should just get right into it. Okay, so I am in a sales page template that I have created. Um, and we are going to scroll down here to the video. And then I'm going to hop over to the editor. So here is what it looks like in the editor. Um, and what I did was I grabbed this video block right here and I dragged it into this column block right here. And... Um, I dragged it the size all the way up to 100. But since we don't need this, I am going to get rid of this for now. Um, so this is the existing one that matches this one. So when I click on it, if you scroll down here, you're going to see where you're supposed to enter the embed code. So I will show you how I did that. Um, I did use Canva for this um, because it's a simple, free, uh, way to do it um, but there are other softwares like I'm pretty sure you can you can definitely use YouTube to do this if you wanted to do that um, you would just have to if you didn't want the video to be public you would just have to hide it um, there's other softwares like Vimeo that um, that's a paid option but the great thing about the paid options where as like Canva is a little bit limited is the controls on the video. So say you would like, you know, your viewer to scroll down and then your video to autoplay. I don't think Canva has that option. Or if you want to remove, you know, like the full screen option, or for some reason you don't want to have these controls down here or any of these controls really, um, Canva will be a little bit limiting. Whereas the, like some paid softwares, you have more control on what con controls you want to show. Um, so just take that into consideration when you're choosing um, an embedded like video software. Okay, so I'm gonna come over to Canva and this is where I made the video. Um, for the sake of this sales page that I made, I just did a bunch of photo, like a photo comp compilation and then I, that was pretty much made into a video and I did that just so um, this model would match you know the rest of the sales page I didn't really want to use a different model I wanted to keep it all cohesive um, so you're going to click and drag in your video here and then um, actually keep in mind too like this is a video size so when you come to home and you click create design, you're going to select the video size, which is 1920 by uh, 1080. So you want to make sure it is actually the video size. Um, and the reason for that is so that you don't have any like blank space on either side or above. Um, okay, so then once you have your video inserted into Canva, you're going to click share. Maybe to move this over here. Um, you're going to click share and you're going to click. So it's right here for me because I've done this before. But if it doesn't, I think these are more like your recent ones that you've used. If you don't see it here, you're going to click on more and it's going to pop up here and it's going to say live embed. So you're going to click on that and you're going to grab the HTML embed code. And you're going to copy that. And that is the code that you will be pasting into this section right here. Um, another little tip, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the new code um, because there's something else that I did that I want to show you. So right at the bottom here, um, you can see, so that my Canva account is called Brit's Template Shop. So that would technically also show up somewhere around here. So I got rid of that. That is something that you can customize. So I deleted it. I deleted that and I deleted that. Oops. See, you don't want to delete that. You don't want to, 
You don't want to delete any of this. You want to make sure you keep this. Let's see if I can delete that as well. That was just like the title and the video, which you probably also don't need in there, right? Okay, so I'm going to click done and I'm going to save and let's see if it is the same. Let's just refresh this here. Here we go. Okay, let's go down here. Hmm. So I just put the title as a dot because I didn't want it to show up here, but it looks like it didn't remove that, but it did. Um, like the name of my uh, Canva account is also not here. So that's a good sign. So that's a little something you can customize. You just have to delete it out of the embed code at the very bottom here. Um, okay, so now moving on, we are going to do a GIF or a GIF, whatever you call it. I've heard both. Um, we're going to put that into a page. So I'm going to come over to another sales page I've done. This is a member ship sales page that I have created. Um, this is also available on my website. I'm going to scroll down here. Let's scroll down. Okay. This is a very long sales page. Let me put this up here. <clears throat> so in the bonus section, at the bottom of the bonus, we have five bonuses, and then I put a, a gift right here. So I used this tenor website and I, there was a reason why I used it over, I think at the, the jiffy.com website, I think it was, I was able to like move it around and resize it a little bit better. But anyway, that is from this site right here. So you can just search whatever one you want and then you come down here and then here's your embed code again, you're going to click it. It's going to copy. And then let me go into this editor. We are going to go down here again. This is sometimes it's a little slow when you have a really long sales page, but here it is again, same thing. It's still a video block. Um, the video size for this one is 61 because we didn't, I didn't want it too, too big. There we go. Um, and then same thing, you're going to embed right here. And I guess the only downside to this is if you do hover over it, it does have, you know, like controls up here, but we couldn't really get around that. And it is pretty minimal compared to some other sites where you can grab these. So that's why I went with uh, Tenor. But it's essentially the same, the same concept. Um, and this, again, is inside a, a column block, which is sitting inside a content um, box as well. And if you do want to see that video again, it, it will be linked down below. Um, and let me know if you have any questions about this as well. That's all for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, please comment down below. I'll be sure to answer all of them. If you are looking to save some time building out a Thrivecart page, we do have a bunch of templates on our site. So I will also link that down below. Um, and if you or someone you know is looking to purchase Thrivecart, um, we do have an affiliate link. And with your purchase of Thrivecart through our link, you will receive all of our templates as a bonus. 